good day to all of you i am s sivaram former senior executive with 47 years of experience from ssi paper and boards limited e road tamil nadu welcome to iso 14001 aspect impact and legal compliance training this is a continuation of my previous uh, iso 14001 uh, 2015 video let's see what is the meaning of uh, aspect impact generally aspect means cause and impact means effect environment aspect impact study helps us to know whether our business activities are affecting the environment around us iso 14001 wants us to always think green and act green and to avoid pollution in all the activities of our business processes what is the actual meaning of aspect and impact as per iso 14001 2015 standard any any part of the company's processes activities products and services that can interact with the environment either positively or negatively are termed as environmental aspects changes to the environment either adverse that is negative or beneficial to um, positive that are results from the above environmental aspects are called environment impacts let's see how to identify aspect impacts in the in an organization first doing for, for doing aspect impact study in a manufacturing organization we need to first form a cross functional team consisting of processes mechanical uh, electrical personnel in the respective department these teams will identify and make list of the aspects in all the processes and activities of their respective departments that may have an impact on the environment and should all the activities in the departments in the organization have been covered once the lists are ready prepare the environmental aspect registers eir for all the department which will help to establish your ems objectives and environment management programs that is emps with the targets this is one of the requirements of iso 14001 2015 standard to address the environment aspects some examples of aspects can be chemical vapors that are and that that are emitted into the air from one of your processes or chemicals that could be expelled in your waste water solid waste and hazardous waste disposed on land and indiscriminate use and wastage of natural resources like water energy raw materials etc next create a criteria for determining the severity of the impact for the aspects using the criteria matrix as shown in the subsequent slides <coughs> and give appropriate scores in the ea environment aspect register this is a continuous slide <coughs> based on the scores using the matrix aspects are divided into onion aspects and significant impacts aspects causing severe impact on the environment have the highest scores these are termed as significant aspects how to address the significant aspects first review the existing controls provided for the significant aspects if controls are not adequate and effective try to make them effective if not possible then formulate ems objectives with the time bound targets for addressing the environmental issues this is how all the significant aspects are to be addressed and contained other important thing in the in the is that aspect impact study is to be done as per life cycle life cycle perspective that is from cradle to grave meaning it should start from the beginning of the process that is from the design stage itself acquisition of raw materials manufacturing processes packaging finished product transportation customer use end of life treatment and final disposal of the products as such can be identified as activities uh, whether routine or non routine operating conditions whether normal abnormal or emergency direct activities where magnet management can control or indirect activities where management has no control but can only influence this is also an uh, continual slide next to next we need to identify whether impacts are negative or positive we need to categorize them accordingly 
Some examples of positive that is beneficial impacts include reuse or recycling waste materials. Example what waste paper can be reprocessed. Fresh water and processed water recycling. Using of LED bulbs to conserve energy. Minimize raw materials and reducing energy consumption to conserve natural resources. Use of eco-friendly pa packaging material protect the environment etc. Negative that is adverse environmental impacts that can pose a threat to the organization business. Example non-compliance to legal and other requirements. Not understand, not addressing the needs and expectation of stakeholders. Polluting water, air and land. Hazardous waste generation and disposal etc. We need to do aspect impact study for all the outsource activities also in the, in the life cycle perspective. Management to ensure necessary resources are provided for conducting aspect impact study. Another continual side. Using the matrix rate the adverse aspect on a scale that is low, medium and high, high risk. Identify all security aspects whose scores are above the set limit. Set a target limit with responsibility and time frame for reducing the impact. Establish an operation control that is procedures and work instructions for eliminating or reducing the impact so as to make significant aspects into significant aspects. Otherwise, establish environment management programs, that is EMPs, with targets and time frame to address the identified significant aspects, which you may need external help, etc., and cannot be addressed immediately. Measure, monitor, and evaluate the EMPs progress during ISO internal audits and in MR meetings, that is management review meetings, for their progress, whether they are showing positive or negative trend, and take necessary corrective actions. Every department personnel should know what are the security aspects and EMPs pertaining to their department and their status also. Now let's see what are the direct and indirect environment aspects are. Direct aspects are associated with activities like processes, products and services of the organization over which the management has direct control that is air, water, noise pollution, generation, disposal of solid waste, depletion of natural resources. Indirect environment aspects are typically those that, uh, that arise before an activity known as upstream aspects, example extraction of raw materials and resources, manufacturing process used by the supplies or after the activity known as downstream aspects, example disposal process for by, by, for byproducts and end of life issues of products. An organization cannot always control indirect environment aspects such as those in the supply chain, but it can also often influence and guide the suppliers and educate them how to reduce, minimize or eliminate the impacts caused by such aspects. This slide is an example of life cycle perspective, direct, indirect aspects and which activities you can control or influence in your business process. As we have already seen in our previous previous slide that life cycle starts from the extraction of raw materials, purchasing, manufacturing, distribution of product, of product, use of product and disposal of product. We need to identify the respective aspects in all the above said activities. Management can control only the direct, only the direct aspects in the purchase manufacturing and transportation activities whereas the upstream pro process that indirect aspects in the extraction of raw materials and downstream downstream activities like use of product and disposal of product management has no direct control but can only influence and guide them that is this is where you have direct control whereas in this circle you can only uh, upstream and downstream you can only influence This picture highlights the inputs, process, outputs and related environment aspects. For processing we use inputs like raw materials, natural resources and energy. During the process we pollute the atmosphere with boiler, smoke, emitting carbon dioxide, CFC, chlorofluorocarbon from ACs and fridges, VOC, volatile com organic compounds from paints etc., nitrogen oxides emitted from motor vehicles and fuel burning processes. And in the 
in the untreated liquid discharge from the factory will enter the river and oceans which will result in water pollution affecting its pH BOD that is both biological oxygen demand COD that is chemical oxygen demand and SS that is suspended solids which will in turn affect the life of aquatic animals the waste this wastewater living in a factory has to be treated properly in the effluent treatment plant as per the norms of pollution control board before discharging into the river or for agricultural cultivation we also need to take care of the non hazardous waste and hazardous waste before disposing them you spent oil and electronic spares are hazardous waste which are to be sold to uh, government authorized dealers only other significant aspects are fugitive dust noise and uh, odor emitting from the process and during transfer we need to take corrective steps to co contain these two otherwise they will affect the working crew inside the factory and also affect the nearby neighborhood we need to comply with the needs and expectation of people in the neighborhood too these are different categories of environmental aspects and impact examples of environmental aspects are emission to air emission to air release releases to water releases to land greenery of uh, solid waste hazardous waste consumption of raw material and natural resources and commonly uh, community issues like dust odor and uh, new news uh, noise nuisances and the corresponding environmental impacts uh, Environmental aspects are air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, resource depletion, and noise pollution. Now let's see how the environmental aspects really affect the environment around us. Air pollution will air pollution will lead to ozone ozone depletion. Will increase global warming, which at which is at present affecting most of the countries in the world, and also leads to acid rain, which will affect the health of flora and fauna. Water pollution will increase uh, drain contamination, sewer pollution, which will ultimately affect our rivers and seas, which in turn will endanger the lives of aquatic animals. Land pollution will contaminate the soil, which will affect the quality of the groundwater. This will also lead to, uh, to dumping of unwanted things as landfills, which will ultimately emit GHG, that is greenhouse gases, which aids in global warming. Resource depletion will lead to depletion of natural resources like water, fuel, forests, etc. Community impacts are nuisances from noise, dust, and odor emissions from the factories, which can affect the health of the people in the nearby neighborhood. This is a simple flow chart how to identify the significant aspects and the operational controls. Step 1. First, identify aspects on all the activities of the business as per life cycle perspective. Step 2. Establish criteria for identifying the severity of the impacts. Step 3. Using the criteria, identify the significant aspects. Step 4. Ensure the operation controls for significant and aspects are effective. Step 5. If the operation controls are not effective, set objectives with targets to address these significant aspects. Step 6. Review the operation controls periodically and show they are effective. Some examples how to list out the details of aspect in past study. In the first column, you need to identify the activities of the activities in the process, products, and service. In the middle column, you need to write down the appropriate aspects against the activity identified. In the last column, you must write down the environmental aspects against the individual aspects. Now, let's take one common example in industry. One main activity in the process during boiler, running a boiler, boiler which is shown in yellow color background. What are the related aspects of it? They are first emission from the boiler, boiler chimney. And what is the impact on the environment? It leads to air pollution. Another aspect is fuel. Is fuel that is coal consumption for running the boiler is another aspect which leads to natural resource depletion as environment impact. Next aspect is boiler blow blowdown to maintain water quality. Last aspect is water consumption for running the boiler 
impact is natural resource depletion. Similarly, you can go through the other activities in slide and the subsequent slides. We have seen earlier that aspects can be negative or positive. Here is this slide we can see one aspect which is positive which is shown in the green, green background. The corresponding activity is, you, is using processed water from paper machine as waste paper pro processing plant instead of fresh water. Positive aspect is recycling and reusing of processed water. Positive impact is conserve natural resources and also reduction in water pollution. Since processed water may, con may contain processed chemicals and when it is in rain, it will lead to water pollution. We need to have record of all the positive aspects and circulate them to all departments so they can be replicated in other process departments to conserve valuable fresh water. <coughs> Here this slide will know how the how the criteria is formulated for the environmental impacts to determine the severity and probability and to ra rank them as high, medium, and low. In the first column, in the first column, the rating is given. In the first column rating is given for severity and prob the uh, probability as high, medium, and low. In the middle column. The guidelines are given how to assess the severity of the impact. In the last column, guidelines given to assess the probability of the impact. We need to rate the impacts for severity and probability as shown in this slide and plot against the criteria as given in the next slide to determine the corresponding risk. This is a matrix of severity and probability for arriving the risk level for the environmental aspect impact study. Score 4 is considered as extreme risk which is significant aspect. Score 3 is high risk which is also considered as significant aspect. For significant aspect we have we must evaluate the effectiveness of the existing operation control to compare the risk. If not effective or inadequate we need to take steps to improve the controls. Score 2 is moderate risk which is significant aspect. Score 1 is low risk which is acceptable risk that can be tolerated. This is also significant insignificant aspect. Operation controls for the insignificant aspects are also to be monitored and measured at periodic intervals to ensure that for the, for the effectiveness. This is a continuous slide. One important point is that matrix is not applicable to the following aspects which will automatically be categorized as security access since they are directly related to legal compliance and interest party concerns, have, have resource saving potential and those related to emergency conditions. After doing as per the all the activities in the process production and services, those that is which can which can or may interact with the environment are to be captured in this EAR environment aspect register as per ISO 14000 2015 standard requirement. This EAR will be subjected to ISO audit by internal and external uh, auditors. The sample EAR for format belongs to this this sample ER format belongs to boiler operation process. ER should contain all relevant information pertaining to the department activities and the impact on the environment. On the top rows of the format key, the name of the department, name of the department, who is responsible, next to the next who is the uh, personal responsible and all and who are the core team members who are who have prepared this ER format. You need to write down the document reference number. Reference number. When was this was issued? And also revision, if any, if it is revised. Write down this date where when this was prepared originally and when it was again revised. Coming to columns, there are 17. There are 17 main columns. These are the columns. 17 columns. Let's see what information we need to fill in these columns. In the first column, the first column. Write down the main activity and the sub activity and the sub activity at the of the department. In the section column, you need to furnish what type of activity, what type of activity, whether normal, abnormal, that is start up or shut down, or is it an emergency situation. In the fourth column, 
in the fourth column you need to uh, need to key in the anode aspect identify fifth column and sixth column you need to say whether it is aspect is direct or indirect seventh column you need to write down the aspect uh, uh, down the actual and potential impacts both positive or negative eighth column Eighth column, you need to write down the relevant legal and other requirements corresponding LOR that is legal and other requirements number as given in the legal register. Ninth column, ninth column under concern, you need to state whether these will affect legal interested parties or lead to natural resource depletion. Next, in the tenth column. 10th column referring the impact criteria matrix you need to spell out the severity rating whether high low or me or low medium or low similarly 11th column for the probability rating you need to spell out whether it is high medium or low 12th column you need to write down the initial risk whether 1 1 2 3 or 4 in the 13th column state whether the aspect is significant whether the aspect is significant or insignificant. 14th column. In the 14th column, uh, write down whether operation control is available. In the 15th column, you have to write down the residual risk. That is, if the operation control is available, the initial uh, risk uh, mark minus 1 will give the residual risk. This column. Okay. 16th column you need to spell out whether aspect is significant or insignificant. In the final 17th column you can state whether SOP, SOP, SOP or EMP is available for the activity. One good example in the aspect is given at the bottom row burning of coal, burning of Hole in in the furnace as showed with yellow background. Please go through the details given all the column for better understanding how the EF format has been prepared. This is the continuous EF for boiler operation process. Here is the first row and subject is given as operation of furnace of oil. Here in the first row, the sub activity is given as operation of furnace or oil firing in the boiler, which is shown with yellow color background. You can see that both initial risk and uh, residual risk are the same, in spite of having operation control, that is, ESP and oil burner air fans are in place. Management decides to have this aspect as significant because of it comes under legal interest party concerns, uh, etc., neighborhood and natural resource depletion. This, this three. This EM format is to for marketing for marketing department. The earlier two slides are pertaining to technical aspects from boiler house. Here too, some of the main actors identifying in the marketing department which can have, have an impact on environment are uh, given in this year. Some examples of sub activities are using PC printers and printers tube lights and fans in the office, the sourcing of defective computers and other electric appliances, using lorries and containers for delivery of the finished goods to the customers and related interactions with the environment is also given correspondingly. Please go through all the columns for better understanding. This is a sample EAR format for electrical department. Here is this bottom third row under sub it is given the dripping of ESP, dripping of ESP, transformer due to electric bond. Since this comes under legal and interested party concern, legal and interested party concern, the impact severity is high. This aspect is considered as significant. This is significant. In the next row, in the next bottom most row, the sub actor is shown as replacing conventional bulbs with LED bulbs which is shown with yellow color background. 
since this hydrate leads to energy saving and the actual impact is given as energy concern which is a positive is a positive aspect now let's now we have come to the lor meaning legal and other requirements we need to comply as per iso 14001 2015 standard this slide is is about legal and other requirements every iso certified company must prepare and maintain a legal register and the list of i'll all licenses and permits all department authorities must be aware of the applicable legal compliances and have the related license of permits the least legal register license and permits are to be reviewed periodically to ensure that they are up to date uh, up to date once in 4 or 6 months as per the discretion of the management some examples of legal com uh, compliance pertaining to paper manufacturing company they are water act air act environment protection act hazardous waste hazardous chemicals petroleum act tamil nadu factory rules central uh, motor vehicle rules or public license uh, liability insurance act battery rules weighment and measurement rules boiler act other requirements that is see a crap crap corporate responsibility for environment protection which is uh, applicable exclusively to paper industry only similarly you must list out all the legal and other requirements applicable to your company prepare the legal register and legal compliance status register as shown in the subsequent slides fix responsibility and accountability on hods for updating the department's legal compliances licenses and permits as per legal requirements this is sample list of lor legal and other requirement here some examples of legal requirements are shown similarly you must first list out all the necessary legal compliance applicable to your company in this form give lor code numbers as shown in the first column and in the format next in the second column write down the applicable legal requirements next to the third next in the third column state what are the related actors pertaining to the legal code finally in the last fourth column fix response one accounting for following these legal compliances this is sample environment legal risk register all hod should identify the applicable legal requirements for their department next they must key in the necessary information as shown in the column headings in the legal rich register now let's see what are the inputs in the top lower given with the green color and um, color bar in the first column they shown the issues of factors or points for the consider regarding legal compliances you must you need to enter in the below column the issues pertaining to legal requirements in the second you need to state whether the issue is external or internal in the third column state which issue related to pesl pestla that is political economic social technology legal and environment and uh, which can affect your business fourth column you need to state which level which level this will affect whether process level department level organization level fifth column who gets affected whether interested parties or stakeholders or company sixth column states what are the needs and expectation of affected parties seventh column describe the risk and corresponding impact from the stakeholders eighth column describe the type of risk whether it is operational financial compliance or economic Ninth column state whether the impact is high, medium, or low risk. Tenth column describes the actions to be taken to address the risk. Eleventh column fixes responsibility on concerned department process owners. After preparing the legal register, next we need to prepare legal compliance status register for monitoring the legal compliance at regular intervals. This compliance status register has to be prepared in this format by all concerned departments and copies to be handed over to legal department or environment department for monitoring and follow up. These duly filled forms will be kept in the legal compliance status register file. This sample format contains 
concern order renewal, water cess return, effluent analysis. This was prepared by ma manager environment on behalf of management for water and Le water act legal compliance. He is responsible in maintaining the legal compliance and legal of all environment department head will also counter check whether this format is updated regularly without any delay. Similarly, other departments the company should also prepare similar formats for renewing the licenses, consent, permits, certificates, etc. And copies are same to be handed over to legal environment for their personal too. You can also see the license number, consent number, the applicable act, con conditions, the validity set that is issued on valid up to next triggering date for renewal also given and so all the columns are duly filled in without fail. Company should give utmost importance for compliance or legal and other accounts for sustaining their for sustaining the business. I am concluding this video with Mahatma's famous saying, the future depends on what we do in the present. Be the change you want to see in the world. Since green is competitive, think and act green. Do not pollute. Safe mother, act. My next videos will be on ISO 45001 that is Occupation Health Safety Management System. Don't miss it. Thank you all for your patience hearing. If you would like to review my previous videos on Japanese fire concerts, TPM, ISO 9000-2015, ISO 14000-2015, please search Learning with Sivaram in Google or YouTube and click the icon, uh, plant in folder and, and select videos so that you can view exclusively all my YouTube videos in sequence. If you like these videos, please press the like button and click the subscribe button and bell icon and share among your friends and others who will be interested. Once again, thank you all. Have a nice day.